Hi everyone, in this video we'll be talking about Python coroutines. So a Python coroutine is almost identical in semantics to a Python generator. The only difference here is that instead of having a yield expression yielding something, you have a yield expression which is taking the place of something that you input into um, um, into the function. So let's 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 just have, let's go for it and have a look. So we're going to define a coroutine much like um, we do a function. It's going to take some text and then we're going to say while true so it's always going to be looping around um, my input input uh, search will equal yield so what we have here is we have yield now in enclosed in parentheses which changes the the meaning of yield so if if my input search is um, is in my uh, is in my text, I want to print out. Uh, it sure is. Else, I want to print better luck next time. So let's save this, and if we bring it over here, we're going to Python. Now we're going to um, from coroutine. So I'm in the same directory now as my uh, as my uh, py file. Import coroutine. Can't spell. And so if I say x equals coroutine, and I'm going to give it some text such as um, this is another video on Python. Close that. So before I can I can actually start using this function, if you watch my previous video, which is about um, Python generators, I said that once you've made an object, um, like I've done here, I've made the code an object and I've assigned the variable x to it, um, it runs the code until you get to the first yield expression, the first y. And this is exactly the same for the coroutine, except in order to put, but instead of stepping at the y, it's actually stopping at just outside the parenthesis, the first parenthesis. So in order to get into the parenthesis, to get into the first yield, we have to initialize the coroutine by typing in next, the next method, using the next method. Once we've entered that, then the the coroutine will be behaving like almost like an identically almost identically to your generator except you'll be using the send command or the send method so let's let's do that so what i do is i initiate the coroutine so what i'm doing is i'm forcing the express the force from forcing the, the code into the parenthesis so now i'm at y and now i can use the method send and i can send my word that i want to search for so why not is it sure is it's there if I now send a word that's not in there Billy Bob better luck next time and this will go round and round the loop um, forever until um, the, the interpreter is closed so that's the coroutine um, we'll go a bit more into depth in it in the next video um, or two um, and until then